Ever wondered how giants like Amazon predict their next big seller? The secret lies in the mastery of databases. Welcome to a journey where data isn't just numbers, but the key to unlocking future trends and decisions. Here we dive deep into how data scientists transform raw data from mobile apps, IoT devices and more into strategic gold through data mining and analysis. From the first step of data collection to the final act of decision making, you'll learn how businesses leverage data to navigate the competitive marketplace. If you're looking to harness the power of data science to make informed business decisions, you're in the right place. Let's unlock the potential of databases together and transform how you view data's role in business success. Welcome everyone. I am Vishwa and I have close to around 10 plus years of experience working in this IT sector. During this last 10 years of the journey, I have worked for the companies like Oracle, PayPal, Walmart, Amazon, and I currently work as an architect for the LinkedIn. So in the last 10 years of the journey, I have seen this whole space of data science evolve. In this video, we are going to talk about data scientists and what is the role of a database or a data storage layer in the day to day working of a data scientist. So before we talk about the connection, let's understand each of these terms. Who is a data scientist? A data scientist is a person like you and me who is responsible for collection of data. And once the data is collected, analyze it and then finally interpret the results out of it. Right. So that the data which is stored, we make some meaning out of it and the business can take some decisions. On the other hand, if I talk about the data base or a data storage layer, it's primarily responsible for storage of data. And once the data is stored, it allows you to do the computation and the queries. So if we try to correlate these two things, the role of a data scientist and what a database does for us, we realize that the initial few steps which any data scientist has to do, which is storage of the data and the computation on the top of it, becomes highly complex if we don't use something which is specialized for doing that. And that's what the database, the data lake, or the different data storage system that we have available. So what we understand is that for the success of any data scientist, since they have to involve themselves rigorously in the whole steps of data collection and the data computation, which is a kind of foundation for any kind of results that they expect from this data, having a very sound understanding of a database or a data storage layer is a must. If you also look into this whole uh, process of uh, business intelligence or the ways in which we plot the different graphs, trends and make the meaning out of the data, at the very bottom of the pyramid is the data collection. So once we finalize from which sources the data has to be collected, the most important thing that comes into the play is where this data will be stored. Because your decision of storing the data also impacts that how you're going to compute that data, how you're going to bring the meaning out of that data. And that's again in this pyramid, one of the very important functional aspect is that of a data storage layer, the data warehouse, because at one direction, it helps you to store data. And at the same time, it enables you, powers you to run different kind of aggregation queries to get the aggregated result. And at the same time, finally, you can output that data on the different BI tools like Tableau, Power BI and other BI visualization layers. So with this, we kind of conclude that anyone who is trying to make it big in this field of data science for their day to day effective work, a data scientist must have a very good understanding of different types, the different flavors of the data storage, because that's what they have to do in the beginning of their job. So you need to store the data. You have to do the computation if you want to make any meaning out of it. If you've made it this far in the video, give us a like, a share, subscribe, hit the bell icon, tell us what you want to learn next in the comments and then wait or skip the wait and become a data scientist in just 12 months with the executive PG program in data science from IIIT Bangalore powered by Upgrad in collaboration with experts from Meta, Mintra and LinkedIn. 
Over 20,000 working professionals from over 65 batches have already done this course. Now, back to the video. Now, let's try to understand that what are the different kind of roles or what are the different kind of challenges a data scientist has to face in their work life. So let's assume a use case. Let's say that you have joined Amazon recently and the next sale is next month. Now as a very first project, you have been assigned a task of identifying or predicting the inventory of the electronic items in the next coming sale. Now this sounds interesting. What are the different things that we can think of for doing such prediction? How can we say that what should be the volume? What is the amount of the inventory that we need to keep so that our sale goes smooth and all our customers are happy buying items on the Amazon. Now doing this has multi-dimensional solution where we have to consider the different aspects while doing this production. But one of the key way of doing this is understanding the patterns. Say for example, how the sale has been in the same period year over year for the last five years. How the volume of the sale has been growing year over the year for the last couple of years. To take into account the seasonality and the local behavior or what has been happening for the last few months, you would also like to understand the sale trends in the electronic segment for the last few months. Now from where will you get all these information and the insights? The answer is only one. The one which helps you to store data historically for over a period of time, which later on you can run some aggregation, computation to gain all these valuable insights and that layer is database or a data storage layer. So with this we conclude that even in the basic work that you're doing as a data scientist, time and again you'll always require some layer, some data storage layer where your data would be stored. You can query that and then bring the meaning out of it and that's how you solve any problem of predictability. As we conclude our journey into the strategic use of databases in business, it's evident that the landscape of data science will continue to evolve. Aage ki socho with Upgrad and ensure you're always prepared to navigate the future of data-driven decision making.